Alright, so I'm gonna make the intro pretty quick because I don't want this video to be long at all so it doesn't take up that much st space on my uh, hard drive. Uh, these are gonna be three retakes that I always use that you might see me using like a montage or something. They're protected and they also, they kind of look a bit flashy. I wouldn't say they're too flashy, but they're definitely protected. And uh, yeah, people always tell me I have like uh, crazy retakes and stuff, so I figured I'd make a video on it. And uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna get through these quickly. Uh, the first you take, you're gonna want to be double ramping. You're gonna place a cone in front of you, a cone above uh, the ramp that's above you. You're gonna place a wall in front of you. You're gonna place a cone to the right or the left, depending on which side you want to go to. And then you're going to place a wall in front of you, and then you can place one below you if you want to be super protected. Then all you want to do is either jump out to the right or the left, depending on where your uh, opponent is. I usually jump out to the right, like this. You're going to place a wall, wall, and you can see there's a wall behind that ramp, which you can place through the ramp. You're going to land on this ramp, and then you're going to edit out either like this, or you can edit out one tile. I usually edit out one tile, so that way there's not even like the tiniest angle they can get on me. And then once you do that, uh, all you're going to want to do is place, once you uh, edit this wall, you're going to place a ramp, a wall in front of the ramp, a wall to your right, and two high walls right here. Then you're going to want to place a ramp above you. You're going to want to place a cone above that ramp. You're going to want to place a cone, uh, as soon as you place a cone above the ramp, you're going to want to place one to the left or the right, depending on which way you're going. And then, uh, depending on where your opponent is, you can either jump out to the left like that, or you can jump out to the right like this. And then once you're done with that, you can either edit out front ways like this, or you can edit out to the side like this, and then, uh, I'm about to mess up. You can edit out to the side like this, and side jump again, or like you can edit out to the left. It really doesn't matter. As long as you make sure that, uh, what's it called, you're protected from whichever way you're doing it. And then, yeah, you can just kind of go crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's the first you take. Alright, so this retake is a bit harder, but once you get the hang of it, it will be pretty simple. So you're going to want to start by double ramping out. And you're gonna want to place a cone in front of you and a cone above you like you did on the last one. You place a cone to your uh, right on the back cone. I mean not a cone, my bad, a stair on the back cone. And you either jump to the right and place four walls like this. Or you jump to the left depending on where the person you're fighting is. So uh, yeah. So once you're right here, uh, I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so once you're here... Uh, all you're gonna want to do and this is probably like where most people get lost is you're gonna want to edit through this wall And this is kind of hard to do in like uh, like just walking so I'm just gonna do it quick Like basically you're gonna want to place one two three walls Or on this side depending on where you're the person you're fighting is and you're gonna want to place a ramp as soon as like right below you. It's really hard to do you got to learn how to do it quick, but basically it's just a motion of doing this and then Just placing it for you once you get used to it, it'll be pretty easy. I promise and then all you do from here is run to the edge of this uh, stair, do make a right or a left, depending on which way you did it. Look up, place a wall right there. If you look at the very edge of your cone, you can place a wall. Run a little bit more forward and then, uh, well I messed it up, but do elevated cone drop. And once you're done, you should land right here. Usually when I'm right here, I just either drive a cone or I just keep going. So uh, yeah. So the last retake I'm going to be showing you is pretty simple. Uh, you're going to want to start by double ramping once again. And uh, basically it's just an outcast physics variation. So what you're going to want to do, if you don't know what that is, like the outcast physics jump. Uh, it's basically just a Thwaifo cone, which is where you put once like uh, walls behind you like this to make elevated cone above you. Uh, usually with the Thwaifo cone you would just keep going. But with the physics cone, you basically just jump and land on a ramp. And then uh, from here, you can either do an elevated cone jump or do whatever, but 
Uh, the one I'm going to be showing you is I place a wall above through the cone. I do an elevated cone jump. Now once I've done that, I put one, two, three walls or four walls on my right side or my left side depending on where the person I'm fighting is at. I flip the ramp sideways like this. I place a cone in a wall as quick as I can. I edit the cone and then as soon as I'm done editing the cone, I place a wall. Once I've done that, I place a stair connecting the edited cone. I place a floor and another stair. Then I edit either the right or the left, depending on which way I, I want to go. And then I place a wall uh, on the right in the front. And then I, uh, what's it called? I edit out through the right or the left, depending on which way I want to go. And then I either just do, I don't even know, I just do whatever. And yeah. Alright, so before I go, I want to say one more thing about these retakes is that they all flow together. Like, the way that I do them, they all flow together. So if you learn all of them, and you get good at doing all of them, you can pretty much just, like, I don't even know, like, you can go crazy. Because they literally, like I said, they flow together. It's just, like, a perfect way to take high ground. You're completely protected. They're super uh, useful. So, like, it, they're really good at misdirection and stuff. Which is, like, essential for high ground retake. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, like, y'all know that before i uh, ended the video and uh thank you guys for watching uh like comment subscribe let me know which one your favorite and uh yeah i'm out later